Now, if you want to make smooth hair looking like that, then make sure to watch this video till the end. So let's get started right away. So the first thing that you need is Autosway. It is a plugin or script or whatever it actually is. Okay, so once you have it, you want to add your, your manga picture. Now, I've already done the whole thing in Photoshop. I've like repainted behind her hair and stuff like that. So you can actually do the animation. Soon, I'll probably make a tutorial about that as well. Yeah, just add your Photoshop project file in there. Put it in composition, editable layers. And I'll click on OK. Just double click on this. And here you have your manga picture or whatever. Yeah, so basically how you want to start is just go to the first hair piece, I guess. As you can see like that. Then I like to put it on like this dot. So it only shows this, this piece. Then you want to go to the puppet tool. I usually put like one in the corner over here and one here. These two will keep it steady. I'll explain it later. Okay, so my dumbass did not explain it later. So I'm just recording this after the other recording to explain it anyways. So the reason why I usually put two of these pins on the top is because these two will keep the hair piece in place because you don't want to see it swinging like that at the top because that will look weird you see because then these lines will not line up again that's the reason why i put two of these over here because let's say i would delete them i wonder what will happen actually yeah yeah, yeah that, that's that's a perfect example you can see that these lines will also swing like that so that's not what you want because you want to keep the top in place so it actually looks like it's attached to her hair that's basically why you would want to do that so now let's get back to the tutorial and then you just want to put one here 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 and then maybe here and one all the way at the end like that then you can just select all of these five pins and you can go over here to auto sway you can click on apply now this will make it auto sway press play and as you can see this is how it looks if you go to the top layer over here you can see all the settings so here's the sway distance so if you crank that up it will go crazy this is the sway roundness same one this will make it like more round as you can see this is the speed so you can adjust the speed let's say it's very windy then you can make the speed like very high because you know if the wind the hair blows like a lot or else you can just make it a little bit slower the dk is actually pretty cool because if you crank it up a little it will just stop after a while when normally when it's on zero it will keep on moving but when you put the dk up it will stop after a couple seconds and that's actually really nice let's say there's like an explosion and then the hair just blows just a little bit on the impact but then stops then you can have like dk then the offset it just kind of so in some plugins you have for example seed it will just give you like a random seed and it will change for example particles or whatever this time it just changes this a little uh, and the lag factor not really sure what this does i think it kind of just changes up how it actually swings normally it always goes from top to bottom i think but then if you change this you can change the order a bit up i believe see it now changes not completely sure and then you have these two settings i have never messed around with this you can check that out yourself but those are kind of like all of these settings and once you're happy with the stuff you've done i recommend clicking on bake because this will bake this layer. It sort of like pre-composes this layer. And this will save a lot of RAM on your PC. Because this effect, if you leave it unbaked, your PC can get very slow. But if you think, oh no, I did something wrong. You can always click on unbake. And as you can see, you will be back. And you can change the settings around if you want. So definitely recommend to bake it after you're happy with the settings. So then actually the process is completely the same for every single hair piece. You can just, yeah, do the same process again and again. So I think I'm just going to speed this up a little so you can see the end result. And after I've done it, yeah, I'm, I want to show you guys the other way to use the auto sway plugin. Because there's a couple different ways where you can use it for. So yeah.
And after you're done with it, it will look like this. And if you're happy with this, you can just leave it like this or do whatever. Then you can also actually do like a cool eye animation and maybe change the mouth a little. And then you can have a pretty cool manga animation. And if you want to learn how to do an eye animation, you can click on the top right right now or later because I've already made a tutorial about that. And like I said, let's say you don't like this little hair piece. You can also just click on unbake and I can just go over here change the speed a little make it a little bit lower see it will look a little bit different and you can just bake it again and yeah that's it so as you can see that's pretty cool and now i want to show you guys how else you can actually use it now in this edit i've also used the auto sway as you can see over here on his hood and a little bit on his hair so this is kind of it and as you can see over here i have baked them and for the hood, it's just basically uh, the same process, or for both actually, it's just very easy to do. Okay, so I've unbaked this real quick, and now you can kind of see where I put the points. So this one over here, and this one over here, keeps the hood in place. And then these are the ones that I selected, and let the whole thing move. And then for this one, I put a lot of these pins over here. Basically, these are the ones that keep the hair in place. And then I just put these over here and I selected those and, and applied the auto sway. Yeah, I put the, the sway distance a little bit lower because normally it's like on 200. And that made it look really weird, obviously. So I put that a little bit uh, lower and then the speed a bit higher because of the, the scene I thought it was pretty cool to make the speed a little bit faster. Yeah, that's kind of the process. So, and then on Jogo, I also did auto sway on his hood. So that's kind of basically it. So those are two or three ways to use auto sway. One for the hair in front of like the face with like wind. One for like a hood or maybe a cape and one for hair when it's possible like i did on sakuna because not always does it look nice and something you should never do is just put a couple of these pins apply others way and just call it a day because that's not how animation really works so yeah that's basically it i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked and i'll see you next time have a good day